So if a climber has positive pain reproduction with joint compression, and they have pain relief with joint distraction, you would definitely want to use joint mobilizations to treat this climber. Let's take a look at how to localize joint mobilizations in a self-applied technique to the PIP joint. The climber takes their thumb and wraps it underneath the proximal phalanx. They grasp their middle phalanx and provide joint oscillatory mobilizations to the PIP joint. These joint oscillations are performed at a rate of 1 to 2 Hz. Joint mobilization techniques can also be sustained pressure. So it's helpful to teach the climber how to perform self-mobilizations of their finger, and especially of that PIP joint that's affected with that joint capsulitis or cenobitis. But there's also a couple tricks that I've learned along the way. And one of these tricks is using finger traps to mobilize the joint. Now I use some medical finger traps that are used in surgery for traction, and I use these for assessments as well as interventions for climbers. But you can also use very inexpensive finger traps and give them to climbers so climbers can self-mobilize their joints. Let's take a look at utilizing finger traps to mobilize the joints of the finger if a climber has finger capsulitis or cenobitis. Here you see four medical finger traps for climbers. These finger traps can localize both the PIP as well as the DIP joint in rock climbers. As you can see with this finger trap, we place it along the index finger all the way up to the middle phalanx. The climber then stabilizes their proximal phalanx with their thumb, and the clinician or the climber applies joint mobilizations or oscillations to gap or create space within that PIP joint. The climber or the clinician can then remove it from the finger and provide it on any finger that needs to be mobilized. You can see that this finger trap goes to the level of the middle phalanx and the climber can proximally stabilize at their proximal phalanx. These oscillatory mobilizations can help lubricate the joint and reduce pain and stiffness. Additionally, joint mobilization techniques can be utilized on the DIP joint. By tractioning the distal phalanx by using a smaller finger trap and blocking the middle phalanx, a climber can self-mobilize, or a clinician can mobilize for them, the DIP joint, providing joint mobilizations to increase lubrication of the joint, improve range of motion, and decrease pain and symptoms. If a climber doesn't have access to medical finger traps, they can use an inexpensive finger trap, one of the toys that you would play with as a kid, to mobilize the joints in their fingers. Here you can see utilizing the finger trap to mobilize the PIP joint. The climber blocks the proximal phalanx and tractions the middle phalanx to create a PIP joint mobilization. Joint mobilizations are an excellent way to decrease the pain in a joint and improve the general range of motion. You can use a self-applied mobilization, you can use medical finger traps, or you can use toy finger traps. But you always need to remember, we're trying to improve mobility, we're trying to decrease symptoms, but if we forget about how symptoms came on, we may not solve the puzzle. So we always need to go back to movement. No matter where we are in the pyramid, we need to remember how a climber climbs and we need to remember how they move. 